Hi Cancers, welcome to your love reading for the month of September 2020. So if you are a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. And if you're on the cusp of a Gemini or a Leo, uh, you may want to watch my Gemini's video and my Leo videos when I get them out to see if they also resonate with you. And keep in mind, these are very general, so they're not going to apply to everyone. So if you would like your own personal reading from me, all my links are down below in the description box and you can order a reading with me, okay? So Cancer, I had already pre-shuffled as usual. So I was focusing you on this side and your person on this side. But for some of you, you might feel like this is your side and this is whoever you're wondering about. Um, so yeah, so the energies can be interchangeable here. So let's start with this side. Okay, so I, again, I did focus more on you, but take how it resonates. So the first card I drew is manifest. Very interesting. <laughs> so like the magician, um, know the power within you. You really, uh, I, I basically, this is how it goes. Whatever you, thoughts become things, right? A lot of you already know that. So perhaps what you fear about what might happen between you and this person is starting to unfold for you. Same thing with not fearing, seeing the positive things that might happen um, is going to unfold for you that way as well. So Cancer, you are or have been trying to manifest or call someone in, I think. Again, maybe this is the person that's doing it to you uh, or the, sorry, the person you're wondering about. Maybe they're trying to manifest you back in their life. So this could be an ex or whether you're with someone, you're trying to uh, work with magic, some of you, um, just trying to visualize a happy outcome, et cetera, et cetera. Very interesting, very powerful card though. But we have the mountain and the rider. So the mountain can be a blockage, someone feeling stuck, being very silent, being very stubborn. Okay. Um, and we all have the rider. So the rider is a lot of changes, a new person. Sometimes it's a new lover. Um, things happening very quickly, a lot of activity. Somebody, somebody wanting to come around or move forward. So when I see both of these together, this is a sudden or sudden unexpected challenges, okay? Sudden challenges. So I feel something happened between you guys where whatever happened, it caused a sudden blockage in energy with you guys. Being that this is on your side, I feel like you wanted this connection to move forward. Okay, you wanted this connection to move forward, but something or someone got in the way. Okay. Sometimes these two can also represent boundaries that were pushed. I don't know if somebody was trying to come at you. Uh, somebody was trying to court you. Um, I don't know if you blocked this person. Maybe this person blocked you. It's like because I see the writer as someone very excited to come around and change things. Um, but again, it may not be the person, just what happened here. For some, maybe you feel like this went, things went too far. Like one of you having to put a stop to it. I don't know if you... I don't see rejection, but maybe this person rejected you or you had to reject them. The mountain again is being blocked or someone keeping silent, right? So what's also possible is you are trying to push for the other person to do something, but they're not talking or they're being stubborn about whatever it is that you want to happen between you two. Another message here is this person might've been in and out of your life. And maybe you put a stop to that or they stopped coming around. Another message I get from these two is stopping yourself from contacting this person. Because again, the rider wants to rush ahead. The rider wants to move things forward, but the mountain is a block. Hmm. So next we have the tree and the stars. So the tree is about the physical body or physical connection, spiritual, but the stars is as well. The stars is a meaningful connection, but it also is a card of lots of hopes and dreams manifesting. That's what's interesting here is we have the manifesting card and we have the stars. So trying to get things grounded. Um, I feel like you want to move forward with this now that I'm seeing these two here. Like wanting, what I get from these two is like wanting to wish for things to happen. Like, like you're, uh, sorry. Like maybe there's a, an issue with wanting to wish for things to happen, but at the same time, you're trying to stay grounded. 
It's almost as if you're going back and forth with what's possible versus what's reality. Maybe that's why, again, I'm trying to call this person back in, but it's not showing up in my reality. Not yet, right? So you're possibly trying to manifest this into your physical reality. I feel like another thing here is some of you wonder if this, if this connection was or might be just an illusion, or maybe you started to feel that way or you begin to feel this way, but we have the house and the heart. So the, the house can be the home secrets, um, keeping something private or a marriage or you, that you live with this person and the heart. So feelings, love, compassion, romance. So these two show a loving family. Maybe it's a reconciliation with a family member. That's what one of the meanings is with these two. So if you're married to this person or you live with them, I do see you wanting to work things out. Maybe this person is just being stubborn, but you do want to reconcile with them if there's been any problems. But if you're not with this person, Perhaps you believe that they are working on their marriage if they are married or you're, I don't know if this is a third party, but let's say if it was a third party, you're trying, maybe they are, or you're trying to work on your own marriage. What's, what's interesting is the heart and house is also about keeping feelings in, like keeping feelings private. And that would make sense with this right here. Like feelings are hard to keep inside. Silence, keeping feelings silent. It's kind of this, a little bit of the same. This is not silence, but just keeping things in like private. So you're not telling this person how you feel or you feel that they're behaving this way. Hmm. So yeah, this could have been an affair or that, you know, like I said, feelings were not expressed to this person or vice versa. I feel like you still have feelings for this person, but it's again, you're holding it in, or again, you think they're holding it in. Maybe some of you believe that they, you believe they have feelings for you, but they're holding it in. Um, when, when I look at these three in a row, the mountain, tree, and house, together, I feel like this is saying things are stagnant due to the home and family issue or that someone feels unable to move because of family or because you're married. So this is kind of an obvious reading here. Hmm. The bottom row with the uh, writer um, stars and the heart. I feel like this is saying you're still holding on to a lot of faith that there's still love here between you and this person, whether you're with him or not. And I feel like you're willing to tackle this connection or relationship with a lot of faith. All right. So, I mean, there's, I mean, on your end, you, you're, you're kind of, like I said, you have the manifesting card. You're, you're thinking there's something that's going to come out of this, right? Let's take a look on their side. So they have the card refusing to see. <laughs> that's so interesting. You have manifest and they're like refusing to see. So sort of like the two of swords card. So this person is at a stalemate or they're undecided about what to do or whether to take action. Or this person is in denial about their feelings or that maybe they weren't spiritually aware about how strong this connection was between you two or they're not, or maybe if you're single, you end up, he, here's, here's one thing I want to talk about. If you are single, if you're a single cancer, you manifest someone, but you're not sure how to handle your emotions or you end up meeting someone that doesn't refuse that they're not, that you're like, some of you could be like, oh my God, you're a soulmate. And this person's like, I don't know. If, I don't believe in that stuff or something like that at first. So if you're single and you meet someone, I feel like that, that that's what might be, could going, be going, sorry, I can't even talk today. That's what might happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this, your person or this, whoever this is, they have the scythe and the moon, okay? So the scythe is a card of, of cutting something off. It's a card of pain, right? Um, or like I said, it's cutting pain or sudden. And then they have the moon, which is fear, uh, strong, in intense emotions and psychic awareness, right? So this person, okay, so it's, I'm telling you, these never fail me. Refusing to see, and this person has been trying to cut off their feelings or ignore, it's like cutting off their intuition. Like, no, 
I don't know if this person's trying to forget about you. If you are not with this person, this person's really in denial about uh, not wanting to see the strong connection you feel. You have to, I'm, I already see what's going on here, but I'm just gonna take my time. I wanna skip to the end already. <clears throat> So this person might be trying to either, I don't know if they cut you off because they got scared of how strong this connection was, refusing to see, or they got, um, this also represents deep hurt and deep pain. So I feel like this person is sad about this. I feel like you're not together. For a lot of you, you're not with this person. But if you are, they're not, maybe you're trying to get your spouse or you do have the man card here. So if you're the woman, it doesn't matter, even if you're in the same sex relationship, I'm just gonna say this to keep up with, but you, like for example, if you're a woman and you're dealing with a man, he's scared of his emotions, he, he, maybe this was too much for him, but whatever happened, he most likely cut you off or he cut his emotions off. Now, if you're with him, if you're with this person, whether or not he's a man or woman, he's like trying to ignore something that you're trying to manifest and he's not seeing the signs, I guess, right? Like I hear, don't see, he's not noticing the signs. But again, this could mean deep hurt and pain. So I, that's why I feel like this person is sad, but this could also be emotional hurt, right? So it's same thing, sad about this. Or like I said, stopping something out of fear. So they cut you off because they were scared. I don't know what they were scared of. Again, they might be married though. Mm -hmm. So we have the man in the ring. So again, you might be dealing with a married man, a married man. Again, it could also mean a very strong connection with a man or Sometimes the ring is shared something mutual. So there's mutual feelings here, but he's the one that cut it off because the scythe comes next to him. Again, it could be a woman. So just saying. And if you are a cancer man, or maybe you're a cross watcher, maybe you feel like this person cut you off. I don't know. But I feel like regardless, so some of you really manifested maybe intentionally or unintentionally this person in your life. But if this person is married, this is this possibly is a third party issue. Again, if this man isn't or wasn't married, then this shows that he feels, again, there's a strong connection or that you feel a strong, again, this is their feelings though. So this person or man feels a very strong connection, but they don't, they refuse to see it. They cut off their feelings. It's too strong for them. <laughs> or maybe he had to cut you off because he is married or he is taken and someone found out with communication, that could be because this is cutting off communication. Sometimes there's another meaning. This is also sudden communication. Um, I mean, it shows you guys got along very well, the bouquet and letter. So this is like enjoying a lot of happy, flirtatious, inviting messages, con constant communication of kindness. Um, or perhaps there's messages they want to send you. Maybe that's gonna happen soon. The bouquet can be about flirting, like I said, or appreciation. But it also, again, is about invitation social circles. You might have met this person online or through social media. Sometimes because I'm, I'm only seeing that because of the, uh, the bouquet social circles. Or maybe you met them through friends. I feel like they want to talk, it looks like, since the letter shows up on their side. All right. And again, unless you feel like this is you. But what's interesting is the scythe diagonal from the ring shows a broken connection or a broken marriage. So I'm not sure if they cut you off because it threatened their marriage or their connection with someone else. I don't know. Um, let's see. If we take a look at the site, the man in the bouquet, this together shows me unexpected visitation. So I don't know if this person wants to surprise you soon or unexpected gift. They might send you guys something. Maybe they try to visit you, like surprise you and come visit you. Not seeing travel and the, um, not really seeing travel, but... The bouquet can mean someone visiting also. Or here, like I said, suddenly being nice to you. So I feel like that's not, it's not over with this person because something's still blocked. There's no closure yet. You still have feelings, but you feel like you can't talk about it. Hmm. This could also be a man who put a stop to courting you or this, yeah, this man cut you off. Um, the moon ring and letter shows wanting to express or talk about how important this connection really is to them. <laughs> or they want to express that they share the same sadness and share the same feelings. So I feel like if you 
If you haven't talked to this person in a while, I'm seeing a heart to heart conversation happening. All right. Again, if you're with this person, then there's a lot of need to talk. So there, I don't see a breakup here. So don't worry about that. Again, if you are already separated, I see a conversation happening. Okay. Again, if you're single and you meet this person at first, they might cut off their feelings because they're refusing to see the connection that's happening between you two, but there's going to end up being a heart to heart conversation. So there's more opening up here. So it's good for the most part. I haven't looked at this yet. Although the Lily isn't bad. The Lily has to do with a lot of sexual intimacy, creativeness, but also someone that's willing to do the right thing, good intentions. So I feel like this person is honest with what's going on here. I don't think this person is like, uh, what is the word malevolent like they don't mean to be mean or anything I think if they did anything if they did cut you off It was because of fear or like I said, they could be married or maybe you're married Maybe they felt like they had to cut you off because you're in a happy relationship and they feel like they don't um, Like what is that like I, I can't like like picture someone saying I can't um, I can't compare myself to what you have with your husband, for example, or you already have a nice house or you, you already have all, everything you want. Why do you need me for, right? But this person's not, they're refusing to see the, the, the bigger picture of that. It's not about money. Maybe you actually love this person. It doesn't matter what they have. So what's interesting is your outcome again, see, these are the outcomes right here. So on your side, you have the mountain and the heart as your outcome. So again, like I said, this is also, by the way, suffering in silence or feelings are blocked or that there's a blockage in this love that you have for this person because the heart is there. So there's a lot of feelings there. So maybe you're, oh, okay. So, okay, here's, here's what's interesting. Maybe this is you or they feel that you're blocking your feelings. So maybe they're thinking, because again, after all, I have to be honest, I did focus on how they feel about you or maybe, but again, this could be also what they're going through. So perhaps for some, they feel like you are refusing to see the real picture here, or maybe they think that you're blocking your feelings from them. I don't know, but they have the scythe and letter as their outcome here. Okay. So this is again, cutting off communication, but in terms of everything else I'm seeing here, I'm seeing the opposite. I'm not trying to sugarcoat. I just don't see it being cut off. I feel like this is more of sudden communication because this could be cutting off painful or uh, uh, um, sudden. So, or let's say they want to talk about how much pain they've been in without you or about what's been going on here, but they want to come to you in a nice way, it's right? Because I have the bouquet card. So going by here and going by here, I feel like the site isn't as bad as it usually is. So either this is sudden communication between you two or they want to express how much pain they've been in with whatever's been going on between you two or if you haven't been together, that's why. Let's see what's under the deck. Again, we have the Lily card, so that's not bad. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you might live at a distance with this person, not all of you. Um, okay, I'm not gonna go that far. So, okay, a friend. So again, um, the dog isn't always a fr uh, other, <laughs> The snake is like the other woman and the dog is the other man. So again, this man might have been a third party. So if you were married, this is a man that's, or this is a friend you haven't ever had a major relationship with. Someone might be married though. Okay, so a friend that ended or a lover that it ended between you two. Okay, so, okay that's what I was thinking, that you're not together with this person. However, if you are with this person, sometimes the dog is loyalty. So loyalty ends. But then now there's changes being made with the ship card and now there's a now someone's deciding. All right. So whenever you have the death card or sorry, the coffin card, not death card, <laughs> kind of means the same a little bit. But in the Lenorm and the death, I have never pulled the coffin. I don't think yet in my um, not in this deck and my video readings yet since I've used this deck. That's interesting. So the coffin is normally grief. So sadness. So this friend of yours is or maybe had it made a big impact on this person. Okay, other woman. Okay, so maybe third party. Didn't mean to look that far, sorry. So a friend that feels very, the coffin is not always an ending. It can mean grief. So a friend that's sad because you had such a big impact on them, um, but now they want to move forward with this or there maybe there's, it ended, they had to move away. I feel like this was, a, I feel like this was forced. I feel like this was forced, like someone had to cut the other person off. Again, maybe their spouse found out you guys were talking or seeing each other and they had to stop talking to you or they just, or the connection was too strong, they couldn't handle it. But here's that, um, I'm not sure. It's like, normally I would see the, the coffin and the ship as, okay, I'm done with you, I'm moving on. But then you have the crossroads 
okay, now I'm hesitating because now there's another option and they want to do the right thing. And this is good intention. So Cancer, if this person talks to you, don't be mean. I know we get pissy. I know we get really moody, like, well, you did this to me, blah, blah, blah. But maybe it's time <laughs> that if this person does reach out to you, um, maybe it, it actually took them a lot of courage to do it. So just try to be nice. Just hear them out, okay? Don't get, don't get too upset. If you really do care about this person, they do reach out, listen to what they have to say. And I, I really think you'll be like that. Hey, I'm a Cancer. We're very kind-hearted. We, we, again, we can be, we, we never forget... <laughs> but we are one of the biggest forgivers, okay? <laughs> but, um, hmm. Yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer. Very interesting, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Sorry if it did not. And um, again, if you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. As always, I will see you guys on my next video.